the morning sun struggled valiantly to pierce the thick fog that clung to the coastal town of Windmere, casting an eerie pallor over the rocky cliffs. Dr. Marina Wells stood resolute at the entrance of a hidden cave, the salty breeze tousling her wavy brown hair. Beside her, Detective James Hargrove adjusted his trench coat, his serious demeanor softened by a hint of curiosity. This is where your father found the artifacts? He inquired, his voice low, almost reverent. Marina nodded, her heart racing as they stepped inside. The cave was damp, the air thick with the scent of brine and earth. She flicked on her flashlight, illuminating the jagged walls, revealing remnants of old fishing nets and scattered shells. He believed these artifacts could rewrite our town's history, she murmured, her fingers brushing against a weathered piece of wood. As they delved deeper, the atmosphere shifted. The shadows seemed to whisper secrets. Hargrove paused, kneeling beside a pile of stones. Look here, he said, pointing to a small, rusted hook. This isn't just debris, it's evidence. Marina's pulse quickened at the sight of the rusted hook. Evidence of what? she asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Possible smuggling, Hargrove replied, his brow furrowing with concern. Your father's research might have uncovered something that threatened someone's livelihood. Just then, a distant shout echoed from outside, breaking the tension that hung heavily in the air. They exchanged glances, the weight of unspoken fears hanging between them. We should check it out, Hargrove suggested, rising to his feet with determination. As they exited the cave, the stakes were rising, and Marina felt herself firmly entangled in a web of deceit. The shadows of the cave seemed to follow them, whispering secrets of the past and the dangers of the present. As they emerged from the cave, a figure loomed at the entrance. Captain Harold Finch, his rugged face twisted in anger. You're poking your nose where it doesn't belong, he growled, his voice a low rumble against the crashing waves. Marina felt a chill run down her spine, the weight of the situation pressing heavily upon her. Just as they turned to confront Finch, Marina's phone buzzed ominously in her pocket. A message flashed on the screen. Stop your investigation, or else. The tension was palpable, the stakes higher than ever. The investigation had taken a dangerous turn, and Marina knew they were now playing a high-stakes game. Stay tuned to Storyteller for the next chapter in this gripping tale of mystery and intrigue.